Dana is back at it here to give everyone on their Big Bang Theory Season 1 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important, if you aren't caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Big Bang Theory or are just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further just to avoid any potential spoilers that might happen. This will be Big Bang Theory Season 1, Episode 3. The title of this episode is called The Fuzzy Boots Corollary. This will be my review, reaction, and recap after just finishing watching the episode. So we start off with the guys, Leonard, Sheldon, Howard, and Raj. Uh, they're in a deep gaming session that at least lasted 48 hours. It might have been 72 hours. I can't remember the exact number. I could look it up, but I don't feel like putting the episode back on at the beginning. And uh, Leonard hears that Penny is home. And by the way, Sheldon won the gaming. Well, he actually double-crossed everybody. So what Leonard does is he grabs some mail that he purposely took so he would have a reason to go over to Penny's to talk to her. And she's actually out by her apartment door with a guy making out. So they introduce each other. And then Leonard, of course, is a little upset. So he goes back in the apartment and he thinks about asking somebody out. And then Howard Wallowitz says one of the funniest lines of the episode he says that he's the self-taught expert on sexual harassment law, which is just hilarious because he's so creepy and stuff. So Leonard decides to ask Leslie Winkle out, and that's somebody he works with, played by the same person that he dated on the TV show Roseanne, Sarah something. I can't remember her name. I should know this. It's just escaping me. I never really actually watched Roseanne. And uh, they actually kiss right away. And she says, Leslie Winkle, that, yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting about it. But that doesn't deter Leonard. He decides to ask Penny to dinner, which would actually be a date. But he's not, he's trying to hide it. That's going to be a date. And he says other people are going to come as well, such as Sheldon and Kuthra Rajesh and Rajesh Kuthra Pali and Howard Wallowitz. So, Leonard, before the date, starts to get really nervous. He's wearing a nice blue, royal blue uh, dress shirt, and he is, uh, he's sweating right through it. Uh, Sheldon actually does a okay job at calming him down, uh, surprisingly, and uh, eventually they do end up going to dinner. Of course, how, Penny's wondering why Sheldon, Raj, and Howard aren't there. And he had said something about Sheldon had a, a colonoscopy and he's just not feeling up to it. And the other two had plans or something like that. So they have the date. It's kind of a weird scenario. Nothing really comes of it. They just kind of, it's kind of a boring time period. But they get along nonetheless. And uh, when they get back to the apartment, Penny actually asks Leonard if, if it was a date. And Leonard says, nah, if it's a date, the person knows they've been dated with a capital D. And then Leonard goes in the apartment. Sheldon asks how the date was. And Leonard says, awesome. And that is the end of the episode. So I don't think this was the best episode that I've seen thus far. It was the worst. It's not bad, but it just wasn't as entertaining. I think more should have happened during the date that didn't happen, and I think that would have made it a better episode. So I'm going to score the episode a 6.8 out of 10. I'm not saying it's a bad episode. It's just the worst one so far out of the three that I've watched or rewatched, I should say. And then my character of the episode, I'm going to have to give this one to Leonard because he was the focal point of this episode, and Sheldon didn't have that much time other than the gaming spot and trying to calm Leonard down before the date. And, of course, the line of the episode for Wallowitz when he said he's the sexual harassment uh the expert on the sexual harassment law. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Big Bang Theory, make sure you smash that like button. If you like this review so much that you would like to share it across all your social media platforms, by all means do so. I'm not asking you to do it, but if you want to, I'm not going to stop you. Just make sure you let me know and I'll certainly give you credit for that. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about your thoughts on this episode. What would you score the episode? And uh, if you had to pick a character of the episode, whom would you give it to? And favorite moment or favorite line of the episode, we can do that too. And of course, last but certainly not least, definitely want to grow the channel. So don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.